In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix water park simulator crashing on Steam. So I had a lot of problems with this before, but I'm going to show you how I was able to fix it. So basically, you're going to firstly go into library right here, as you can see, and you will be able to find water park simulator in here if you have it here. And then I'm just going to right click on it. And then what you're going to do in here, because there's like a lot of options in here. And uh, what we're going to do firstly is to actually click on properties right here. So click on properties and then you're going to click on installed files. So the first thing we need to do is to click on verify it integrity of game files. This might take quite a while just so you know to be able to load, but just make sure the process completely loads. And now when it's done, what we're going to do after that is to right click once again. Then you're going to click on manage and browse local files. And in here you're going to find water park simulator, right click on it. Then I'm just going to click on show more options and then click on properties, then click on compatibility, then click on run this program as an administrator, click on apply and click on OK. So now when you have done all of these things right here, and then what you're going to do after that is to actually search for device manager, if it's still not working, so to say. So search for device manager here. And then I believe it's under display adapters here. Yeah. So you're going to see exactly, uh, you can just click on it actually. Uh, maybe even right, sorry, right click on it and then click on update driver here. You will be able to see your driver here as you can see. And if you can update it like automatically in here perfectly, if you can't just um, uh, copy this one right here, go into Google and search for this. I mean, for your specific one, of course, and then click, uh, then also search for update. Then click on the official website from the manufacturers and make sure to update your graphic card and hopefully that will be able to fix it for you.